Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and this is episode number 70 of our playthrough of Pacific Campaign on War on the Sea. We are playing as the Allies, currently day 290 of our campaign. It is 425 in the afternoon of December 12th, 1942. So, currently the situation is we hold truck, uh, we just beat off a dual, uh, I want to say, invasion attempt by the Japanese uh, to assault Pompeii. Um, our forces are patrolling in preparation for the invasion of the Marianas. Uh, we have supply convoys that are uh, in the process of merging up and uh, heading out. I do have a supply convoy down in the Solomon area down here uh, underneath those icons there uh, we've got the Solomon supply force they're empty right now or they're going to be empty pretty soon after they drop off their engineering down here uh, then we're gonna move them up to lay grab the 22,434 troops that are there and wait until uh, our supply force comes in to drop off the troops and supplies here at Sorong. Uh, that's the next step in the uh, southern campaign. Uh, the next step in the northern campaign is going to be Guam and Saipan. Um, probably going to end up bombing Guam and Saipan down to nothing. Uh, just uh, for the sake of... Taking out their air forces. Their air forces have been uh, kind of a pain to deal with. Um, so we are making progress. It is slow progress, but the uh, mod, as I've been told and as I've read in the mod description, is uh, it's a long war. It's not meant to be buzzed through. So we are making the progress. Before we get into today's episode, I just want to take a look at the overall situation in our dockyard we only have a c2 merchant um our losses so far uh mostly destroyers and merchants but we did lose a uh, brooklyn a new or two new orleans two brooklyn's a cleveland three brooklyn's two cleveland's a pensacola another new orleans and unfortunately we lost the indiana uh, enemy losses are a little more substantial. Once again, a lot of merchants, uh, but we did take out uh, quite a few of their carriers so far. Let's just grab the bottom of the list here. Two... There we go, 265 ships, 2,048,000 tons of shipping. Uh, they've lost 1,314 aircraft. We have lost uh, 666. Let's take a look and see what they have left here. Their submarines are, as far as I am concerned, non-existent. I have not seen one submarine the entire campaign for the Japanese. They have them all. They do have uh, quite a bit. Um, not going to go through the destroyers. They've got an endless list of destroyers. Uh, they're light cruisers. Henry's both sunk. Puma class, all sunk. Uh, Nagara, all sunk. Sundai, all sunk. Both Katakamis are gone. Uh, the Yubari, gone. All of the Aganos are gone. Yoyodo. Heavy cruisers, both for Atakas. 
Yobas. Yokos. Uh, they've got one Chokai left. Ogami's gone. Uh, their battleships. Fast battleship. Don't have any. All four of the Congos are gone. Yuzos. He says. Nagatos. Wow. Oh. All three of the Amados. Both of the Heasons. We took them out in one engagement. Carriers. Also, I have yet to see a single fleet carrier. There's the Akagi. Aga. Soryu. Hiryu. Go Kaku. Io. Aiho. Unryu. So they've still got all of their fleet here available to them. Not sure where they are, but I haven't seen any of them. There's a slew of destroyers. Like I said, they, they seem to have an endless list of uh, destroyers they can call on. But all of their... Oh, wait. Oh, we've got the Unio. That's the individual uh, escort carrier. And then this wooden deck monstrosity. They get to Maru. Yeah, so the Japanese Navy is in shambles. There's not much left of it. Just destroyers and merchant ships. So, going forward, um, I think I am going to pull out some more big guns, heavy battleships, uh, but they're probably just going to be for bombardment purposes. Um, the surface combat, as you saw in the last episode, between battleships and destroyers, um, it's a breeze, basically, unless they get off some torpedoes and we hit them. They can't really do too much to our surface forces. We've got a dominating advantage and strength on the seas. Um, with the amount of carriers that we have out there right now, we do have a, uh, I would say, uh, pretty good foothold in the air supremacy category as well. They still have uh, air bases that can launch aircraft. Um, but, excuse me, a lot of those are slower moving bombers heavy bombers and torpedo bombers and uh we've got the cap to defend against that so we are going to be moving forward with the campaign um maybe at some point the fleet carriers will come out if they do uh that could possibly change the dynamic a little bit honestly wouldn't be surprised if i saw two or three fleet carriers in one group um, that would be something that we would have to really fight to defeat. And uh, maybe we'll see some Japanese submarines. Uh, we have four days until we get more. Uh, our next shipment up in Midway, our next Amazon delivery. So the plan is the Marianas and the northwestern corner of uh, New Guinea before we move into the Dutch East Indies. Um, I'll probably pull... Hmm. See, that's the thing, is... Do I go from the Marianas up to the Bonins or down to uh, Palau and take Peleliu as a precursor to the Philippines and MacArthur's return? I shall return. Um... Like I said, uh, after I took truck, after the struggle to take truck, this is probably going to be the only non-objective uh, base that I take. 
but I thought that this would give a good uh, central location to rearm our ships as we move west. So let's get into episode number 70. Okay, so we have ourselves a <coughs> escorted convoy. It's the uh, Southern Invasion Force. They're going to be heading down to the uh, Solomons. Uh, loaded with troops, supplies. We have a boat class, the block, in there. I didn't put any destroyers into the uh, mix just because um, submarines are a non-issue, apparently. Um, so cap can, or a block can provide plenty of cap for uh, the group as they move things forward here. Uh, so we'll get them moving. It's going to take them a ridiculous amount of time to get down there. 234 hours. Uh, our Solomon Force at Lay is ready to pick up troops. Yep, that's what I want to do. We're going to offload or uh, grab some troops from here. Like that. And I'm just going to leave them in position for now. Um, one thing that I do want to do here. Uh, Task Force Keystone. Let's have you come up towards Guam. Task Force Empire, we're going to have you come in on uh, Saipan. We've got two carriers ready to provide air cover for them. Um, we'll have you kind of patrol out in front of them a little bit like this. Uh, Base Force 2 is loaded with a variety of troops and supplies. Task Force 41 also has supplies and troops. Um, we're going to move in on the Marianas. I've seen absolutely nothing, which isn't a surprise given the fact that they kind of have absolutely nothing. So uh, onward we go. This is Task Force Empire. Task Force Empire is under attack. Uh, our cap was just shy of uh, being able to uh, hit them. What do we have here? We've got high-level bombers. Um, more than likely running in on the... Let's start everyone maneuvering here. We do have torpedo bombers as well. Like they might have dropped on, holy shit. Renown just got hit by pretty large uh, spread there. We are shooting them all down. Yeah, we got them all, every single one of them. Yeah, they're coming in from uh, a variety of angles here. Oops, kind of forgot about Express. Uh, not sure who they would be coming after. Have Trump start turning. Um, we do have torpedoes moving in on War Spite. Let's throw her in the reverse. Queen Elizabeth, you're going to have to do some maneuvering. Might take one right on the bow there. Yeah, one hit. Minor damage. We've got one compartment that's uh, not going to be, or two compartments that aren't going to be 
able to be fixed. We got an internal fire we have to take care of. Um, El Trump, uh, I guess you did an okay job of dodging those torpedoes. I'll make sure we're not running towards a collision here. If I could have everyone come to a stop just in case. But just got to get that fire out and uh, Task Force Empire will be on the way. in that but Queen Elizabeth did take quite a bit of damage got most of the fires out all my ships are sitting stationary to uh, repair their damages here um, yeah wildcats are all leaving because they chase down uh, just about everybody there but we've got another minute. Uh, Queen Elizabeth is probably going to be sitting on... If I want to say, probably heavy and moderate for the rest of the... Uh, yeah, there we go. 67% of her normal speed. Uh, possible break off the Queen Elizabeth, send her back for repairs. So... We are going to uh, leave the combat area now. All right, we do have attacks. Uh, it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna get some more cap up over the uh, Task Force Empire here because they are moving in to bombard, and uh, they've drawn the attention of every pilot, which is now about I don't know twenty or so less. But still, they can call on pilots from Iwo, Peleliu, um, 
not going to be an easy fight. Uh, we do have one invasion force sitting here. Uh, they're, I think they're all loaded with supplies. Yep. Uh, these guys, base force two and Task Force 41 are moving up, so we'll get this uh, get this group moving in two. There's eight eight ships in that convoy. Uh, four ships here and nine ships here. So there's three supply convoys that are going to be uh, needing cap, probably all at the same time. So here we go. Ready to bomb Saipan. All right. There, they have nothing left. <laughs> Go back and rearm. Hopefully, uh, Task Force Keystone has a uh, similar. results when they move in on Guam. Well, that level three would be nice. I'm gonna hold off on that. Hold off on bombing. I should probably redirect some of these supply com from Base Force 2. Yeah, we're gonna go in and Take one. Fuel convoy. All right, I'm gonna try and take this with the level three intact. First group of uh, troops and supplies are about to invade Guam. Here we go. And then you can head back. Next group is inbound. Uh, they will be there in eight hours. So they'll be there about seven o'clock in the morning, uh, just in time for air operations to begin. Not cool, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I did release North Carolina up at Midway. As Force Empire's back at truck to rearm. Uh, how long is Midway? I mean, uh, North Carolina going to be out? 38 days. How's Guam looking? Not too bad. Should be able to take that without uh, leveling the airfield. It'll be helpful to us. Rough seas and heavy rains greet our second supply convoy as they move in to drop off their cargo in Guam. These guys decide to come and uh, say hi. Bombers. We've got a lot of cap. Um, I don't really think I have much to worry about from these guys, to be honest with you. Alright, we got one of them down. Oh, there's another group coming in from out here. Oh, maybe we've got something to worry about. Go after, uh, oh shit, there is a bunch of them. Hang on. I should probably do something with my ships here. Last thing I want to do is lo lose a load of troops. Since Guam's going pretty good right off the bat. Uh, let's shift our focus here a little bit. The ones that are right in our face. Oh, these are torpedo bombers too. Not good. 
Uh, let's have you slow down to... Uh... I want you to slow down there, dude. Uh, <laughs> alright. Well, we got a little bit of an issue. Get him. There's one. Alright, they're gonna drop on this Macaulay here. Unless we can get him. Nope. Yeah, this Macaulay's done. That sucks. Dud! A dud! That wasn't a dud. It's another plane that just... Fuck. Magazine explosion, too. Yeah, we lost this Macaulay for sure. <coughs> Damn it. Alright, guys. Well, you got... These these two you have to take out. There we go. Wow. Not cool. And we're going to drop off our... What do we have left here? <coughs> supplies, supplies, and troops. All right. So I think we lost a load of... A load of troops. We're going to leave. Uh, Task Force Empire is back here ready to... Rearm... Okay, all ships rearmed. Uh, let's have you come up here for now. And take a look, see how Guam's doing. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Invasion 2 is on their way in, I think. Oh, well, they got supplies. We just need some troops here. Need some more troops. Then Guam will be ours. Agent 2 has some zeros to deal with on their way out. Uh, I think this Macaulay's probably uh, going to take a few bomb hits. Yeah. Yeah. Three bomb hits. No major damage there. Uh, shit. Got wildcats in the area providing cap. That's lucky miss there. Pump that speed up a little bit here. Let's see if we can, uh, Shoot down some zeros. See how we do. Wow, oh, that's messed up. <laughs> Pretty sure we're going everywhere but where I want it to do. We're getting kind of close to them, too. There's one. Mm. 
No, I think we would. Now he's getting further away. Oh, he's out of ammo now. All right. Well, whatever. Uh oh. All right. Well, the Macaulay out here. They've got some damage to work on, but um, nothing that would put them out of service. They discovered our Yorktown air group with a couple flights of zeros. Cap was, uh, looks like they were inbound from a, re, for a refueling stop. We're gonna come out like this, uh, Yorktown. Just make sure you're not gonna run into the, uh, destroyer there. Which you probably will. So go reverse. Not a good time to be messing around with your, uh, maneuvers there, bud. All right, now you can go full on, try and dodge the uh, bombs. Here comes our wildcats. Looks like we kind of uh, discouraged them from making their bombing run. Except for this guy. He dropped and died. Yorktown has taken a little bit of damage, and she takes a little more. Moderate damage. And we lost a wildcat there. I think we have two more uh, zeros to deal with. They'll still have their bombs. get everybody down yet. Got this one guy left. Still has his bombs. Lost one wildcat. And there we go. That's zero spirals off to the death. As our little three-ship air group maneuvers for uh, position. And they made it in. All supplies. We now have more supplies than we do troops. That's great. No worries. No worries. See how Guam is looking better and better as we move on.
Now this one's the York Town. And they're spiraling down, so they're torpedo planes. Wildcats are probably going to make pretty quick work of these guys. Yeah, they're already shooting them down up there. Hopefully they don't crash into my ships. Uh oh, I see the other group. Where'd they go? There they are out there. Guam is now under our control, so it says. We made quick work of that. Yep, he's blue now. All right, well, let's, uh, hmm. We could probably just pull, pull stuff off of Guam, move it over to Saipan. So we'll send that group back in. Uh, these guys, meanwhile, are... Ready to pull troops and supplies. I gotta leave some, uh, some supplies there to rearm my ships. But I don't see any reason to. Okay, something weird just happened here. Oh, I put them back. All right, we'll grab them. Yeah, we may be able to just move on Peleliu right now. It's progress past what I was expecting. All right, so I didn't actually pull any of the troops off Guam yet. I wanted to um, wait till these holdouts were completely gone, but I did send Base Force 2 up uh, to Saipan. We've got 9,000 troops. I guess we could probably probably start pulling some supplies off of here. To Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to... Alright, so, no. That's decisiveness. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Um, anyway, Base Force 2 is going to head back. Here, we've got Task Force 41 uh, loaded up with supplies, troops, and a few more troops. See what we see what this looks like here. Oh. Yep. Yeah. We should probably I'm hoping this doesn't throw everything off. Those holdouts there will grab supplies. Troops. Troops. Oops, these are all Arcturuses. Supplies. Troops. 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 And head them over. Like that. And didn't make much of a difference. Alright guys. Unload your cargo. Now uh, we got fourteen thousand troops, seven thousand supplies. 
We also have our command points for the week. See how that did there. Eh. Got an encounter with Guam. Five thousand eight hundred and forty troops just arrived. Ninety six command points. Thirteen thousand. Yeah. It's fifty five points right there. Twenty one hundred troops. How many troops did I say there was? Five thousand. All right. Eleven. one that carries 16 that's 12 9 8 grab one of these guys for the uh, remainder of the troops 54 us with 15 left. There we go. Then we can call you... That's what those guys will be for. They'll just run from midway to uh, various places. There we go. We should probably send some engineering down to uh, Guam, but I could do that with uh, another convoy. in there. Uh, find a convoy we can send back. They're working. They're heading down. They're heading back. All right. Merchant Marine is the most active, uh, Active force in our Navy right now. All right, back in the Solomons. Um, looking at this here real quick. Oh, look at that. We're like 35 short on the supplies. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's dumb. Alright, trusty. We'll grab some supplies. Uh, we did offload our fuel here. We can get our tanker headed back up. Uh, Base Force 2 is moving into Saipan, which is edging closer to a victory with 16,000 troops. Uh, Guam is still fighting uh, against the holdouts there. Uh, this invasion to... I'm holding him in position um, just to start moving in on uh, Peleliu or maybe Iwo Jima. I might just go for Peleliu and then draw my line right here after we uh, take Sorong, move in through here. Going pretty good. All right, there you see it. Saipan and Guam are now under our control. We just have to wipe uh, mop-up operations, basically. And uh, we have the, the Marianas. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to follow along, hit the subscribe. We're going to be moving in on uh, probably the Palo Islands next. Uh, wouldn't mind having you join us for it. And uh, we'll see you for episode number 71, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.